We are following two big developing stories tonight concerning two local mayors. One was the victim of a hacking. The other is accused of trying to kill deputies after they came to arrest him at his home this morning. We begin with the hacking of the Twitter page of Tampa Mayor Bob Buckhorn. The unknown culprits file filled his page with hateful comments and disgusting pictures. News Channel East Ryan Hughes is live for us at Tampa City Hall tonight. And uh, I understand these comments are gone now. Jen, good evening to you. Those comments have been taken down. As you can see here live, the mayor's Twitter page back to normal after some very tense hours. So if they choose to ignore us... Tampa Mayor Bob Buckhorn leaves his post on May 1st after spending nearly eight years at the helm of the city. A hacker apparently wanted the mayor to go out with a bang. Nobody wants that stuff out there. It was very offensive. And it's obviously not him and not the style or image we want the city to be in. The person or people hacked into the mayor's page at Bob Buckhorn early this morning and started tweeting. Some of the posts contained racial slurs, others inappropriate pictures, many too graphic to show on television. Buckhorn away on a hunting trip. His spokeswoman talked to us about the despicable stuff. He's very offended that this happened, but is very happy that we were able to quickly remedy the situation. Thanks to the help of Twitter, which was switched at taking down the content. Around noon, the mayor's page fully restored to its original state and all inappropriate tweets wiped away. Tampa police investigators on the case trying to find the online culprit. Our detectives have been working on this for several hours, as you might expect. Um, there's some stuff in there that definitely crosses the line. It's, uh, it's reprehensible, it's vile, and much of it crosses the line into being prosecutable. And coming up tonight at 6, why the Tampa Police Department asking the FBI to help with this investigation. We're live downtown. I'm Ryan Hughes, News Channel 8.